Former top Punjab cop KPS Gill has said Gujarat's Chief Minister Narendra Modi cannot be blamed for the 2002 riots. Gill, who was appointed as Special Security Advisor to Modi in 2002, says it was a complete breakdown in the police functioning that led to the riots in which thousands lost their lives. KPS Gill recently released his official biography in the capital. My colleague Siddharth Pandey caught up with him. You were his security advisor uh, just after the riots. Uh, what were your impressions? Once I joined, the situation came under control within three days or so. Then the local newspapers were talking about the Gill effect and this and that. So it was not the Gill effect. I requested, I had made my inquiries very quickly. I requested Mr. Modi to transfer two or three officers. And he did so. With great alacrity, there was no delay. And Mr. Modi did. Yeah. yeah. The same CRPF, the same army, we reorganized them and the effect was immediate. Charge against it that the administration did not act in time, uh, the fact that one minister of the government has been convicted. So what would you say to that in Gujarat? Charges against her is, are that she was with the crowds, which are... Rioting and 302 murder yeah, and... Yeah, <coughs> So she must have sincerely believed that this is the right thing to do. So in that respect, the administration did fail. It was... No, that would be the indi individual uh, relapse from good sense. Unfortunately, uh, the Gujarat police at that time, as an instrument, was a blunt instrument in this situation. So here is a chief minister who is sitting over in a state where there is tremendous communal polarization and this thing happens and the anger builds up and his police is unequal to the task. What instructions can you give? The greatest compliment, I think, is that there's been not a single communal incident after that. Would Mr. Modi be an able Prime Minister? He's some, and I ask you this because you again, you've spoken with him, you were called in as a security advisor and he's now the BJP's Prime Ministerial nominee. Or if he takes over, only after that, after he starts working, can you assess his work? Who are the other people with him?